in this video I'm gonna show you 10 essential items you really need to take when you start to travel. The first one is of course your suitcase or your backpack. I traveled a long time and I'm uh, very happy with my uh, backpack. Uh, I chose an oil spray because it's a very uh, strong material. I enjoy having a backpack because uh, when I travel and I use public transportation I always have my two hands free to go in and out of transportation and also when I go somewhere and they don't have an elevator and they give me a room on the fourth floor no problem because walking up the stairs with a backpack is a little bit more easy than a suitcase but then again it's a personal preference so you can choose or a suitcase or a backpack of course second item is a daily backpack so i use this one to go on hand luggage i have my laptop on it and everything uh, when i travel along and, and when i am on a destination i use this as a daily backpack for going to the beach or even hiking and it's also big enough that if i go somewhere one night i can easily uh, put the stuff I need for that one night trip also in here. The third item is uh, packing cubes. Uh, I have them in different sizes and different colors. It's also very good on organization. I have one for my socks, one for my t-shirts, one for my pants. So it's very easy to find stuff. And it's also, uh, it actually also makes that you can bring more because you're more organized. The only item I don't have on me now, but it's item number four, and that's a universal uh, charger, an adapter. Because if you go to different countries, especially if you go to a different continent, uh, they probably have a, another uh, charge. So instead of 110, they have 20, uh, 20, or instead of only two, they have three. If you have a travel adapter, you can always change them. This is number five. I am very sensitive on noise, so I always use earplugs. Uh, I have them here. Uh, I also take them on the plane, so uh, it's more easy to sleep, cause especially if you go to dorms, there are always people walking in and out all night long. Uh, if you're also sensitive on uh, light, you might also uh, think about bringing a mask. Item number six microfiber towels travel towels i have two big ones and one small one uh, you can use them for the shower you can use them for the pool or for going to the beach uh, a very plus, plus of it is that they dry very very quickly and they're super super light item number seven a hat or a cap and a uh, scarf the hat and a uh, Cap will protect you even if it's cold or when it's warm. And the scarf, it's very easy. You can use it in a, as a blanket if you go in a bus or in an airplane. It's very cold, very chilly. Uh, you can use it to dress up if you visit a temple because most of the times you need to cover your shoulders. I can wrap it around. Or if your knees are not covered, I uh, turn it into a skirt. So it's multifunctional uh, to keep you warm or even protect you to the sun if you have a sunburn. Item number eight is uh, a money belt. I only use this one if I have a travel day, if I go from A to B. I have my uh, money in it, my emergency money, I have my passports on it. So for me, it's uh, uh, I do my airplane tickets in it, everything of paper, what I need is in here. I don't wear it like you most people here. I wear it under my clothes and I put it here. So it's not that easy to grab. Uh, and in daytime, I never use it. Of course, if I go into the streets, I just uh, make sure that I have on me what I think I need for that day out of the city. So this is really actually for organization on travels. Number nine, a flashlight. This is a very small one. I can actually rewind it. Uh, that it charges and it's a seller. Uh, normally I have also a bigger one, but now I'm uh, only here. A flashlight is very convenient because you can never know if there is going to be electricity, but maybe you have an R&B house that is like uh, not very, very uh, good light on the streets, so you can actually light up. And if the power goes down, you can find your way. 
I also spent some time on a remote island where they didn't have electricity and then in the middle of the night it's very convenient that you can find the toilet. Item number 10, locks. I have two locks because uh, I can uh, open and close my backpacks on two separate zippers. So I have a, a lock for every zipper, but it's also very convenient if you have uh, are in a hostel and they have lockers. They don't all provide a, a lock on that one. So if you have your own one, I choose to have one with numbers because if you have one with keys, the keys are so small. So it's very easy that you lose your keys. So I choose this one. And it's also very convenient that they are flexible and long because sometimes the lockers are old and not very easy. So item number 11, a toilet bag with a hook. Very convenient because not all the showers have place that you can put your shampoo uh, and your soap. So if you have this one, you can hook it on the door or the handle on the door and you don't need to put it on the ground. Item number 12, you want to take shoes. I always take three pair of shoes. I always take my hiking shoes, the outdoor sandals. They're not sexy, but they're very convenient, especially if you go on a boat trip where you have to go in and out of the water uh, to go on a boat. And I wear sneakers. If you don't have a hiking boots, that's not very necessary, but I would say that you have at least two uh, different types of sneakers, one that you actually can walk on for longer. Item number 13, a wind uh, and rain jacket. This is actually more a rain jacket uh, than a wind jacket, but it does the same job. It's very lightweight, it doesn't wrinkle, and also when it's cold, if you put it on, because it's a wind jacket, it keeps you very easy warm. So item number 14, a tool kit or a knife kit. I have one, I think it has 14 or 16 items on it. I'm a, especially a big fan of the scissor and the knife part for opening stuff. It's I don't use it actually that much, but the times that I needed it, I was so happy I brought it. Number 15, a day cram with sun protection already in it. Item number 16, a sunscreen protection and an insect spray or cream. Item 17, reusable water bottles. Item 18, a cable organizer and charger. I have all those items that I need for all my electronical stuff, for my e-reader, for my phone, for my laptop. I all pulled it in one bag and it's always uh, very organized. I own item 19 already, sunglasses, or in my case also, you need reading glasses and look how cool this one is. This has even light, so I can read the menu in a dark restaurant. Number 21, you always want to bring something to, that you have to, uh, you can do uh, while you have a long travel day or if you have some time for yourself or you want time for your own. I'm a big fan of my e-reading. I think I have still over 300 books on this one, but you can also have, of course, a Netflix account, have some music or a podcast that you listen in or some games but make sure that you have something to entertain yourself uh, if you want to. And the final tip, tip extra, tip 21, bring your good mood, your good joy and your good energy and enjoy your travel. These were all my 20 tips on essential items and one good mood that you should bring on your travel to make the most of your travel. Watch my other videos, subscribe to my channel for free of course, and I say let's explore this beautiful world together and I see you in the next video.